How do you build a home that you know is going to be comfortable, is going to be healthy, and is going to reduce your energy use and have the potential to generate as much energy as it consumes? This is an investment. This is where you will raise your family. This is a prudent living home. Prudent living homes are customized for you, and you can be confident that it will be comfortable, clean, and healthy. Hi, my name is Joe Rando. I'm a residential energy efficiency specialist with GDS Associates. Um, we are an engineering and consulting firm located out of Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, we specialize in demand response, energy efficiency, renewable energy, and uh, market transformation. Um, I work in a residential department in the Manchester office. Um, doing mostly energy star or home energy ratings. I am HERS certified, and HERS certified is the home energy rating system. It's a nationwide system used to, to rate the energy efficiency of new and existing homes. So the home energy rating index, or the, the, the HERS score, is the way that we use to rate homes. And as I had said, a score of 100 is a typical home built to the 2006 International Energy Code standards. Um, and it is understood universally throughout the country as the, the, um, the best way to rate homes. I'm also BPI certified through the Building Performance Institute as a building analyst. Um, and, and through both of these certifications, I am able to rate existing and, and, and newly built homes to assess them for energy efficiency. For example, let's look at this home in Plainfield, New Hampshire, that in partnership with Beeble Builders and Prudent Living, built this super high energy efficient home with a HERS score of 12, ideally meaning that it uses about 80 88% less energy than a typical home built in 2006. Now, how did they get there, you might ask? Well, it involves a high-performance building shell, high-efficient mechanical equipment, um, super-efficient lighting, and many other sources as well. Um, mechanical ventilation was brought into the home because the home was built so tight. It utilized um, spray foam in the walls to reduce air infiltration. By reducing the air infiltration, we were able to use less heat or require less heat to keep the home at a comfortable temperature. Um, the home used a 20-40-60 rule that uh, Prudent Living is looking to implement into their high performance homes, meaning that the foundation wall, including the basement as part of your building shell, is insulated to an R20. Understanding a lot of times basements are going to be below grade, there's going to be less heat loss. The wall cavities were insulated to approximately an R40 through the use of spray foam and continuous rigid insulation. The International Energy Code that uh, applies right now only requires an R20 in the wall cavities. Um, they implemented a high performance ceiling shell, which is where a significant amount of your heat loss occurs is through the building envelope at its highest point. Uh, they insulated the, the shell with an R60 of a blown in insulation product. Um, that's about uh, an R11 higher than what the code states right now. They also used solar photovoltaic panels to um, re reduce the load of the geothermal heat pump that was also installed. Um, you know, the home scored a HERS of 12. Uh, it's, it's the lowest score that I've ever actually um, rated a home um, and one of the most highest performing homes that I've ever worked on. Now, yes, was there a possibility to reach a net zero? I, I believe so. Maybe with the installation of some, some more solar panels. Um, it's not just what I do. It's not just what Prudent Living does as building these high performance homes or the electric uh, electrician or HVAC installer. It's how we all work together. You know, Prudent Living, Beeble Builders, um, Sealy Plumbing and Heating and HVAC and Bright Light Electric. We're all on the same page. We were all just as um, interested um, to get this home to perform as well as we could. This is a building science and each little component plays its own part, whether it's the heat transfer through the wall or the amount of heat given off by a light bulb to add to your cooling load. Um, e each, each little bit can be broken down into a science into each little molecule and you don't need to understand that, you just need to care. <laughs>